MPs are there to represent their constituents, not work for a greater political machine. That they should follow the vote of the, the referendum and, and vote that we come out. Whether I, I, don't, I don't actually agree with that, I actually think we should have stayed in, but if the people voted to come out, then they should come out. I would say imbalance on Lambeth perhaps because it was so strongly to stay that that sh should be how they vote, but I also agree that we should definitely leave now the decision has been made. I don't think that Parliament should overrule sort of the voice of the people. We voted to leave and we should leave. And the reason I want that, I want England back to what it used to be. I, I, I'd like my MP to not vote because I think basically there's a decision that's been made and I think they should stick to it. Because if it was the other way around, all these lefties, they, would have been, they, would, they wouldn't be out moaning. It, it was the other way for the right wing. No one would be out moaning, complaining. They would have just took it on the chin and that's it, we would have moved forward. MPs of all parties should go with what the country has gone for. I would urge my MP to let us seek if we can remain. There must be more advantages there than going it alone. She's here to represent us in, in Parliament and that's what we um, as a constituent have, have decided. So I think it's only fair that she follows what, uh, you know, follow that guidance. I voted remain, but I recognise that a referendum is a referendum and the result of the referendum was to leave. So I think she should vote with the government, yes, yes, I think she should.